Hey friends, it is Susan from LegsLikeMine.com. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how on earth I make these crazy lipedema friendly outfits. So for some reason, maybe it's because it's July and it's just so hot and we just can't take wearing compression underneath like layers of pants or, you know, multiple layers of stuff. I'm getting so many questions from people about how do I make outfits that look cute with compression or that they look like they belong with compression. So I thought I'm answering this question way too many times. So I'm just going to do a quick blog post about it. And then I'm also going to do a quick YouTube. So that way when pe people ask me their question, I can just send you a link to this blog or this blog, whatever, um, suits your fancy. Anyway, as you can see, I'm in my office at home today in Yukon, Oklahoma. Behind me, you see my treadmill, which is lovingly turned into a clothing rack <laughs> because I swim for exercise. So, um, behind me are on that, on my clothing rack is a, um, like this really cool lace kimono. And then also this really colorful necklace that reminds me of wooden beads that I used to have when I was a kid. And those are a couple of things that I'm working with right now to come up with a couple of extra outfits. So the lip edema friendly outfits has been so popular. I can't believe the number of emails I've gotten from women and questions and send me the link and what are you wearing and just all kinds of stuff like that. Like women really, really want to find cute outfits, whether we have lip edema or we have more traditional looking legs and arms, right? So this is an area that I need to keep growing, not because it's really making me any money, Although I do do affiliate links in there, it's so small, it never covers the price of even like what I've paid for the clothes, but because it's actually a service that I think is helping us. And you know, when you look good and you know that your outfit is cute and you're getting compliments from people and, oh, where did you get that? It does. It makes you feel good and it makes you feel like a, just sort of like a regular woman. I know that sounds crazy, but um, it's true, you know? So it's great for your mental health whenever you know you've got a cute little outfit on and that it's um, drawing the eye to the areas you wanna draw it to and detracting your eye from areas you don't want the eye to go to. So um, that's what I plan on doing. Anyway, so to answer my question, how do I come up with the ideas for lipedema friendly outfits? You're gonna think I'm nuts, but I am not a fashion person. Um, I do project management, I do paperwork um, in my paid job and that kind of stuff. So fashion is just not something that's ever come naturally to me. What I do now, I've always, I'm always thinking about you and what would you like to wear? What do you feel good in? What comments have I gotten back on outfits that I've posted this year? And when I am just out and about throughout my day traveling or at work, um, just random places, if I see somebody that has an outfit and whether they're uh, mainstream size, plus size, super size, whatever, if I see an outfit that I think is cute, I will stop people and say, hey, can I take a picture of your outfit? And I have never had anybody tell me no. And every time I've asked people for that, it always puts a huge smile on their face. But I do, I take pictures of their clothes and Sometimes I do it secretly, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but um, I do that with hair color a lot too. Um, but anyway, sometimes they'll tell me where they got stuff. And you know, um, a lot of times they'll say, oh man, I got this at a garage sale or I got that at Goodwill, which I totally do that too. But if I have a picture of the item, I can go out to the internet and do searches to see if I can find something similar or if I can find actually that exact item on Amazon. That's surprising, but sometimes you can actually find it. So that's my first thing that I do is I just find outfits in the real world that I really, really like, you know. Um, the next thing that I do is I will go to the internet if I'm just lacking inspiration and I don't have any pictures in my phone. I try to go to Pinterest and work it every single week, at least once a week, and I'll go through and find stuff that I like. And I have boards that I pin stuff to, and one of my boards out there is something to the effect of ideas or for stuff I'm gonna copycat, and I'll drop that out there. I think right now I've got a couple of outfits out there from maybe Diane Keaton and maybe Nicole Byers. And um, I kind of, that one board, I kind of clean out every now and then once I get the outfit figured out or whatever. But let's say that I had a, an off week on Pinterest and I didn't find anything, then what I'll do is I'll go to Google and I have a, a search that I put in and I say plus size celebrities outfits full length. 
and I'll scroll through and see pictures of people who are like on trend right now. Um, and for my style, I'm not like into like sexy, sexy stuff or anything like that. I go to work, I have a real job, I'm a mom and I want clothes that I can really wear, you know, out in public or to the office or to whatever, you know. So that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Um, so I'll, I'll search through there and I have a couple of names. If I can't find anything just from that general term, I go to Oprah. I go to uh, Nicole Byer. Sometimes Melissa McCarthy has stuff that I think would look really cute with people with a larger leg. Um, even lately I've been looking up Diane Keaton, which is so interesting because she's um, a little bit older than my age range and she's super thin. But she has this classic style that I'm trying to capture in a couple of outfits. In fact, my July outfit, I'm, I'm trying to copy a Diane Keaton thing. And um, hopefully it works out. The piece should be here tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, anyway, so um, I'll search for certain names and I'll snap that picture. And um, then what I do is I have multiple monitors at home and I will put the sort of the inspiration picture on one monitor. And then I go through Amazon and honestly, I do Amazon because one, you can get stuff for cheap and, and you know, Amazon Prime is, makes things cheaper, but because I can do affiliate marketing with it. And sometimes I might recoup enough money to pay for like one item um, of the outfit. So that's nice too. Um, anyway, and then my last resort is just totally by chance. Like last night I was binge washing that TV show called Unsellable Houses. And there are two twins that um, do this show. It's Lindsay Lamb is the one of the twins that she just dresses so cute. And a lot of times she wears outfits that I've questioned, like, does she have lip edema or what's going on? Because she seems to wear longer skirts. But that's not true. After I started searching her, um, like totally trolling her on Instagram or whatever, I realized that she does wear a lot of shorter stuff too. But a lot of her outfits, I'm like, I could copy that. And I've got a couple that I've pegged. I actually took pictures of and posted it on Instagram this morning of an outfit that I'm going to try and copy when fall gets closer too. So um, anyway, that's what I do is I go and look for ideas from other people. Rarely do I go to a store and just walk around and look for clothes. Um, I do shop at Goodwill and garage sales and stuff like that too. And every now and then I'll find something in my size that I think might really be cute, but it's easier for me if I can go to Amazon and just have it show up at my door. And then also if I post anything that I'm wearing, I immediately get, you know, a hundred questions like, where'd you get that? What's the link? How much was it? What size? Da, da, da. So it's just better if I post it from the get go, you know? So anyway, that's how I do it, which means if I can do it, you can totally do it too. Um, anyway, I was going to show you before I go see this crazy pendant. This is something I was walking through the craft store the other day, and this was just hanging in like the make your own jewelry thing. I'm getting ready to make a whole outfit around this crazy pendant. It's so weird. Um, anyway, that's how it all works. I mean, it's just weird ideas that come up. So thanks for asking the question, everybody. <laughs> I mean, everybody. And hopefully I can start um, cleaning out my closet a little bit, getting rid of all of those old work trousers that I am not going to wear anymore. I can't wear compression with work trousers on top of it. So I, once I make some more room, then I can have room for cute outfits that look good with compression or hide my legs or whatever. Um, and really start, you know, every single day representing who I want to be now, now that I figured out my lipedema condition and how to manage it with compression. So there you go. Have a great day and be looking next Saturday and Sunday for my July lipedema friendly outfit, which is going to be modeled after something I saw Diane Keaton doing. Um, hopefully it's something you love and will try out for yourself as well. I will see you later. Take care, everybody.